position your hand on your paper and slowly begin to trace. Make an arch around all of your fingers for the zebra's nose. Slowly work your way around the hand, turning your thumb into an ear. Once you have the basic shape of the body outlined, it's time to add your details. Add another ear, grab a Sharpie, and start tracing your pencil marks. Continue to add details to your zebra, but don't make anything too intricate. You want to keep this pretty simple because we're using paint later on. Add your stripes and don't worry about making them perfect. This will all get covered with paint later. Color in the nose and ears with a colored pencil. Grab a skinny brush and start painting in your zebra stripes carefully with paint. This video is really sped up. You should be going a lot slower than I'm going here. You want your brush to skim the paper on the tippy top of the brush. Imagine your brush is like a ballerina and only the tippy toes are touching the paper. You want a nice, thin line. I can't stress enough, go slowly. Last, it's time to put some finishing touches on your zebra. I just made little line designs, kind of representing grass. You can really do whatever you want here. I'm using two colors, neon yellow and neon green. You want to make sure to leave a little bit of white space so that you can use the other color. This is where you can have fun. The more color you use, the more your zebra will really stand out. 